everyone Brian's Red here and let's talk about Gear Wars 2. Now, let's talk about the races in Guild Wars 2. We have five playable races in the Tyria world. We have the Char, Humans, Norn, Azura, and Silvari. The Char was a race forged in the merciless crucible of war. It is all they have known. War defines them, and their quest, to, uh, quest for domination drives them ever onward. The weakling and the fool have no place among the char. Victory is all that matters and it must be achieved by any means and at all costs. These are a cat-like race with massive horns and have different legions controlled with each brand of char. Absolutely amazing race, absolutely love them. And the voice acting and the hairs is phenomenal. Then we have the humans. Humans have lost their homeland, their security, and their former glory. Even their gods have withdrawn, and yet the human spirit remains unshaken. These brave defenders of Chrysler continue to fight with every ounce of strength they have. Again, humans were in Guild Wars 1. It was your main only race you had, and it was incredible the story you had with it. Then you have the Norn. This race was of a towering hunter's experience in the great defeat when the ice dragon drove them from the glacial homes. Nevertheless, they won't let one lost battle. However, punishing, dampening their enthusiasm of life and the hunt, they know that only the ultimate victor achieves legendary rewards. Think of the Norn as like the Vikings of Guild Wars 2. That's how I see it, and I absolutely love it. Now you have the smallest of all races, the Azura. These alchemine inventors may be short in stature, but they are intellectual giants. Among the Azura... ...races believe they should rule by virtue of all their power and strength, but these... Uh, but they to tell themselves in due time, all with their serve, the Azura. Now, these are the smallest race, they are the smartest race, and they are the funniest race of if you wanted to have smart with conversations with. And then you have the Savari. The Safari were not born. They are awakened beneath the pale tree with the knowledge gleaning in their pre-life dreams. These noble beings travel, seeking adventure, pursuing adventure, uh, quests. They struggle to balance um, curiosity with duty, eager, eagerness with chivalry, and warfare with honor. Magic and mystery intertwines to shape the future of this race that has so recently appeared. Now, the Savari is the newest race in Guild Wars 2. It is one of the younger races of all of them. So it is an amazing race to play and I think you should give it a try. Because there's some hints in the expansions that think in only to this one race. Now, when we're talking about this, we're going through the customization side. So let's go pick ourselves a char because... We're going to go with this bad boy today. You can choose male or female. We're going to go with a male one of us here. And then you have your professions. All five. Um, you have three heavies, three medium, and three light. Guardian, warrior, revenant, engineer, thief, ranger, mesmer, necromancer, and elementalist. We'll talk about professions in more detail later on. Or in the next video. But the customizations have always been very good with Guild Wars 2. You can choose the height, 
the physique. You can go with dad bob mode and we can even take it off to hide the armor. So you can go ripped as anything to hairy to skinny. It all depends on that. And even for the char, we can even go patterns, different shades, different colors, everything like that. Head options, always changing, giving you a snarl with your hair. Your face with different looks and horns that could be twisted as anything to little stubby ones. Facial details don't change as well. You can even go down to the different angles of how eyes are to the thickness of the brows. To customizing the nose and the muzzle and even going to the head size and thickness of ears. Then you have the basic armor die colors later on in the game this doesn't matter for this armor right here as you get more customization options in this world of Tyria, aka guild wars 2 so we have all this about just your character then we drop into a little bit more so with every uh backstory you have for every um profession you have a small backstory which into the intertwines with that and also Gives you a little bit of extra. So, for a, a thief, you might get a bandana, a mask, or just like a hood. These also link into what you what you prefer. You prefer, prefer charm, dignity, or ferocity, and what legion for the chars you get to be. So, this could be the Blood Legion, Ash Legion, or Iron Legion. With every uh, race, there was also an ev every di different little part in there. And for the char, they have their sparring partner. Now, this is a big factor in the beginning of the story because this might this can affect of how the first levels go. And then, lastly, you have the last bit of your backstory because there is three acts into this last story, and it affects about that loyal soldier, sorceress charmer, and honorless glazium. And then lastly is putting your name in. But again, we're not going to dive into this. We're going to carry on and see how it is. Um, I want to say this is your first teaser into understanding Guild Wars 2 and having new interesting things coming your way. And until next time, I'll see you guys very soon.